or his mother hollered at him, so Buddy, you're fine, bud. Good boy. So, we're going to encourage Buddy to speak his mind. This is not fair. This is tying the adult up and letting that puppy choose what to do, which is not appropriate. Easy. In the bag he goes. Pick the bag up. Now move away from Stephen. Stephen has to be almost invisible. Good girl. Easy. Good girl, Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. You put him down. Now is she giving her a correct answer? She is trying to be nice about it. Good girl, Diva. Good girl. That nonsense of making that adult put up with that, that's ridiculous. No, you can all let him. Let him. There. She said enough corrections oh, for got, other dogs. She's got to she's got to learn. Well, yeah, there's an appropriate time. Okay, when he corrected, there you go. Good. That puppy has to learn or she goes up to every dog there is. Let it, let Benny have some space. Now, Cooper probably would tolerate it. You need to be more interactive. You need to talk to the dog. Easy. Good boy, Good boy Noah. Noah. Good boy, Noah. You can see the dogs. Move your chair. Now. You can Good see Noah. the dogs who have been taught to be boy, accepting of everything. Good, that isn't fair. Good boy, Jaeger. Let Jaeger have some space. Good boys. Good boys. Good boy, Noah. Good boy, Noah. Move your chair out, Trace. Good boy, Noah. Nice back. Get your paper. Good boy, Good boy, Jaeger. See, Jaeger doesn't know to correct. Jaeger knows to be good. Unfortunately, we teach them to be victims. Move your chair out there, Tracy. Okay. You're too involved. You want to watch? Move it away. Move it away. 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 Because Stephen's going to move over there. Um, I would move away from him, Nancy. Just move out a little bit. Good boy. Now, in a pack, when that puppy starts to come out of the den, all right, it starts to meet adults. If it's around the appropriate leaders, it learns to be respectful. If it's around the lesser individuals, it learns they learn to be tolerant, and the puppy learns to be above them. Now let Benny do it. Now Benny doesn't have a good idea of leadership. He was just allowed to pick on, but he's got the right idea. Move that chair out of there, why don't you? Good girl, Gabby. Good girl. Good girl. Yeah, let her go. Good boy, Jaeger. Jaeger wants him wants her to behave. He doesn't know what to do. We have to teach these dogs how to parent or how to be leaders. Good baby. Hi, Augie. That puppy's very appropriate. They're not hurting her. But you can see the immaturity in Gabby. She wants to play with that puppy instead of teach it. This is unfortunately what we've raised is kids and puppies that simply want to play together rather than learn to be leaders. The boy on. Now each dog is going to be appropriate for its breed as well as its experiences. Hey, Gabby. Gabby wants to flip back into play mode. See, she doesn't want to be leader. Jaeger's a little confused. 
He really would like to be a leader, but he doesn't quite know what to do. Noah has no clue about being a leader. Hey, Gabby, enough. Enough. Good boy, Jaeger. Good boy. So if we want Jaeger to take charge, we encourage him. If we Good don't, it's going to be easy. Good boy. Now, Good if boy, we Jaeger. praise him, this is appropriate. But if we continue to praise this, it'll get, get tougher and tougher and tougher, and he'd just then um, take her down. Hey, enough. None of your business. You blew it, girl. Uh-oh. Now, Noah has never had an experience being a leader. They don't know what to do with that kid. There's a lot of adults that don't know what to do with kids. This is exactly what it looks like. They're totally lost. That puppy is absolutely respectful. She's been around enough Lakelands and enough other dogs that put her in her place. Good boy, Yay. This is the mom that, that thinks uh, that their kids are their friends. They want friends to be their friend. And yes. wants to play. Hey, now that's enough. Now, when you look at this puppy, she is very appropriately challenging every puppy, every dog she's met. She is figuring out who's in charge and who's not. She has the potential to take on leadership skills, leadership responsibility. Easy. Easy. Now we're going to move. Go down here with some leadership. Good girl. Um, Joan. Now you need to be an active participant. Good boy, Ben. This is forcing him. Move that chair there, Nancy. He's going to get changed. That's the problem. Put it over by the door. I, I don't care where you try to. Yeah. Easy, Ben. Easy. Well, yeah. Just kind of keep him just short of getting changed. I know, Mom. Good I know. Now, it's really funny because the dogs who are being tolerant are really probably the best pets. The dogs that have leadership abilities are the challengers. Good girl, Diva. Good girl. Good girl. Now, Diva's too limited to really do this. But there's no equals in this pack. You're either above or below. Good boy, Ben. Easy. Now, if you looked at those two, this is a puppy, that's an adult. There you go. Good girl, Diva. <laughs> Now, is Willie being a leader? No. He's just a crotchety old man. <laughs> he is. Just get away from me. I don't like you. He doesn't want to take charge. He doesn't want to teach that kid anything. He just wants it to go away. Although he has the right to do just exactly that to every other dog he feeds. So we want to teach this puppy to be appropriate. We haven't really hit the leader yet. Dale, this is not great with other dogs. This is leadership, okay? Well, she doesn't know how to be a leader. She's just strong. She's that kid that goes into school and takes over because she's powerful. It doesn't mean she's a leader. Good dog. Okay, step out here, Sue. Move away. Because when the people move away, okay, the dog will follow. So if we want that dog to come away from the group, or away from the outside edges, we have to move away. See, she's going to go to the kids. She can overpower here. That's how gangs are formed. All it takes is some bossy kid to be in charge. Good boy, Noah. Now, she is making an assessment of every one of these dogs. Jaeger, he's confused. He's really torn because he doesn't quite know what to do. Gabby's nothing but a big kid. Augie's too young. 
Good boy, Og. You have to talk to good him. Boy, good boy, yeah. yeah. Good job. Good boy. Nice. This is immaturity. Now, are you an adult or are you a puppy? Now knock it off. Hey, get out of there. It's about time she quits wearing her flowery little anklets and gets a darn job. Hey, Ruby, bring Carly out here, will you? Without her flowery coat on. <laughs> She's not old as 70 degrees in here. Now, Carly does not want this dog beaten down. Brandy's not a leader. She's a victim. She is a professional victim. She'll let any dog be Now, we can't criticize the puppy for being over here. Puppy's going to go where it's fun. Quiet. No, don't, don't, don't catch. You walk, I mean, it's, don't get involved. It, it's not, it's not this fun catch thing. No, I, no, I just, I thought you wanted her, so I was I do. That's why I was. I want it to be unpleasant when she goes that direction. Yeah. Remember, it's unpleasant when you go that direction. So it's not, well, it didn't yeah, hurt. I know it didn't hurt her, but. Okay. Now that's what a kid does with just a nice, sweet pushover. No, just you're fine. You want Carly back? No. Okay. I want Carly to correct her. Now, Carly probably doesn't see anything wrong with this. Because if in fact a dog is a professional victim, it deserves to be taken advantage of. That's exactly what they look at that golden as. She wants them to be tougher. Good girl, Mag. Now, you can't just sit back and smile. Tough. No. Good girl. You can't just sit back. This is not a spectator sport. You're tweaking the dog. Good boy. Good boy, Ogg. Easy. Good. Boy. Each dog. Boy. Hey, Gabby, easy. Good boy. Easy. Good boy, Yeager. You easy. Good boy. Good girl. Good boy. Good. Good job, Yeager. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy, Yeager. Now, Yeager is really torn because he knows if he's tied, he is to behave. You're fine, Brandon. Settle. Good boy. Are you running away when you get a problem? Hey, hey. Thank you. Good girl. Jaeger, what is this baby? Oh, yourself? Cooper doesn't like this. All right, Jaeger, back off of that. Nancy, is that what it feels like when there's a bunch of little kids in your office? <laughs> Can't do a thing about it. Good girl. Good boy, Jaeger. Call him over there, Patricia. Jaeger here. Bye, Noah. Good boy. Good boy, um, Noah. Good boy. Good boy, Noah. Now, as a service dog, I love the fact he waits for me to deal with it. As a leader, he's not. As a service dog, he's appropriate. Very good. Good girl. Good boy, Ben. Good boy. He knows what he wants to do. He doesn't do well on tests. I mean, he's a kid that freezes under pressure. Dog out and let it play with rough dogs. Guess what you're gonna have? 
I mean, you can do it. There, good baby. Good boy. Was that him that corrected? No, I don't think so. Eva? Good. No. No, somebody over there. Oh, Willie. Okay. She's got to deal with that, too. So, crotchety old guys, she has to, I mean, it isn't funny, because you're lucky, I mean, these dogs in here are safe, but I'll guarantee you, if that dog meets a loose dog on the street, and he does that, he's probably going to lose. Well, you need to not laugh at him first. You need to tell him to be easy. Easy is always appropriate. Now, if the puppy's loose coming in his face, okay, you can't tell him to knock it off and leave it. Because if I'm coming here, she can't do anything. Easy is appropriate. On the other hand, if I'm standing over here and she's over here, good job, Diva. She good girl. Okay. Good so girl, Diva. Good. Good job. Good girl. Now she's hit the level of the pack where she feels comfortable. So I know where I am now. Right. There's those that are above, those that are below. She's right between the two of them. She wants, right now, she's, hey, hey. No, she's not tired. Don't. This is, the teacher says it isn't going to happen. Don't. Now you quit. Good girl. Good. You need to stretch these dogs to their appropriate, so they're appropriate around the more powerful dogs, not to play with them, not to their level, to be appropriate. The worst thing you can do is walk into a dog show, if that dog's only been around little dogs, and he walks into the dog show, and he's, bent, uh, he's all shook up by something bigger, Okay, if he's had that experience with a bigger dog, he's going to be afraid. By having these kind of experiences, he's tied there when he watched that puppy. He's seeing their safety, even with these big dogs. So it's really important that you guarantee that they're safe when you take them out. Good girl, Diva. Good girl, Kyle, Carly. Carly does have leadership skills. She wants the puppy tougher. She wants the puppy to be Airedale tough. There we go. Good boy, Willie. There you go. You're fine. Okay. Now, he didn't do anything. Okay. He's not wrong for that. But when a dog comes in the door, that's not his personal space anymore. That's mine. Good girl. Now, don't get in here. Don't get in here. Good. Good boy, Jaeger. Now, Jaeger is following Carly's lead. He's never been around leadership, really. Easy, Otis. Talk to him. Easy. Jaeger, leave us. Come on, Jaeger. Come on, Jaeger. Good boy. Jaeger, back. Come on, back off. There you go. Good boy. Now, that puppy should have followed Jaeger's lead. Jaeger's trying to get her out of the car. Okay, call him. Come on, Jaeger. Good boy. boy. See, he was trying to get that puppy out of there. Carly. Good boy, That's, That was perfect. You're in the house. Very no good. Boy. Now, they're next to each other in the kennel. So, they're buddies. Easy, girls. Easy, girls. Good girls. Now, the fact that they don't play together is awesome. Because they didn't attempt to play, they sit next to each other. They play by themselves. That's really important. If you have a dog that just wants to play all the time. Easy, Kay. Good. Okay, now she doesn't have a way to get out of there, Stephen. Good, easy, Kay. You're blocked up for escape, bro. Good girls. Good girls. Good girls. Come on, baby girl. 
We're going to stop this. We don't want to play. Hey, 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 you're not. Okay, right, that's enough. Come on, go. Now you're playing. Get your back. Get your back. Good boy, boy. Good girl. Now, did you see that? Yeah. Sit right there and watch the puppy go by. That's what tweaking this behavior gets you. Good job. Here you go. Hey. Quiet. 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 It's okay. Good. Move out into the center more, Jim. Get him out of the corner, Good boy, eh? You little marble dog. You're grazing. Good dog, Jim. Can you see? Good dog. All right, let Cooper loose. Good, baby. Not you, Noah. Yeah, you're back off. Yeah. Hey, you aren't feeling good. Looking very good, boy. Knock it off. Good boy, Willie. Knock it off. Good boy, bud. 
Good boy. Come on, Diego. Easy, Archer. Now, don't be petting them. No, they're fine. Don't just stand there. That's it. When you stand still, you give them a chance to get into an argument. Talk to him. Don't you leave him hanging there. Good job. Why do you bring two of them with that small? Good job. Yeah. 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 Yeah
Jaeger's trying to keep everybody in line. There you go. You're fine, Augie. He's used to that. Good boy. Now, from the toys, it's one thing. They got a, hey, easy. Easy, Willie. Good boy. Good girl, Diva. Look at how good she just slides right in here. She was raised this way. She knows what she's doing. Good girl. She has no desire to be pack leader, but she does have a slot in the pack that you don't push me down any further. Augie. Jaeger. Easy. 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 Easy.
She is laying there watching all this activity. She's had dogs come over there. Easy. Noah, good easy. Hey, Maggie, good easy. You're fine. See, Maggie's acting suspicious. So Maggie brings on a lot of the nonsense herself because she acts suspicious. They are suspicious. They have chosen the ones that would play. They figured out where everybody fits into the pack. Now you would see alliances being formed. And that's when you start to see bullying. That's when you start to see all the games. You're fine, Haiti. See, she's not carrying it on. She's doing exactly what Willie did, only Willie didn't want to stop. Um, Maggie is right over there near her face. So truthfully, Haiti's right. Good girl, Haiti. When when Maggie backs off, Haiti lays back down. She's not she's been absolutely quiet through the whole time until Maggie went over there and got in her face. At that point, she's right to tell her back up. Wait, wait, Brandy. Wait. No, Willie is just not as afraid. You've never allowed Willie to figure things out. Good boy, Will. They need this. When you are easy, the Yeager's going to try to correct him because he's protecting you. Okay, let's get our dog. All right, Yeager. Easy. Now, everybody, okay, get your dogs, head back, hook them back up. Maturity level as Augie, but so's Maggie. They don't have, they, they haven't had the experiences. But he did wonderful. What'd you think of Augie? Well, it was good to see that he wasn't afraid of any of the big dogs. He did really well. Yeah. And it's, it's funny when you see a baby, five months old, about there. And how old? Uh, near seven, I think. Seven. Um, how old's Maggie? She'll be three in January. Okay. Those three are all basically comparable in their maturity. Isn't that funny? He's been hindered in his development because of behaviors that were established as a baby. He's right where he should be. And today... He, he had a different experience. He's lived with toys. He needs the experience of getting out there with the big boys. Because that's like Diva. That dog would be much more powerful, but she was raised with a chihuahua and a dachshund. The toysy part. So Diva is not tough. Not at all. What do you think of Gabby? Very playful. You can definitely see the puppy play in her. Um, I think that she, uh, when she, when we said easy though, she did come down some. That's the most impressive thing that about that dog. That was the good part. Uh, that dog is so willing. Well, and when I told her to settle, obviously you can see she yeah. really gets the concept and can turn it off. She still has a lot of that happy, let's play. Well, and she will the because they've raised her to be happy. But um, um, she yeah. was she was good. The yeah. off part was the best part. Yeah. And, you know, she strikes me as a dog's been allowed to play, um, but not with really tough dogs. She's not naughty. No. She's she not really naughty. is she a is nice happy dog. Play. She plays to a lower level. She and Augie would play. She'd be a little too big for him. But um, I love the fact everything about this dog says that the people that own her have done a marvelous job not allowing her to be tough. She is so sensitive to that lead. It's the most impressive thing about that dog. And she's so willing, but she's got to have a good reason to do it. Yeah, she did really good. Um, it would have been too much for her to be out there. Now, I would have her out there with certain dogs, but not with the number we have. So what did you think of Jaeger out there? I was surprised. I haven't really had uh, exact ability to, you know, encounter this. Um, when Jaeger was a very small puppy, he played with all kinds of very, you know, mastiffs, big dogs, play, play, play. And obviously that wasn't probably a good choice. 
So we, re we really haven't done that but since. But he didn't have a lot then. of bad experiences. But he didn't have bad experiences, afraid. so he's not afraid. Um, I was surprised when I told him easy. He did calm down. I was surprised how much walking around he did. And I was really happy to see him hip check the puppy and try to steer the puppy in a different direction. I thought that was pretty cool. I, I thought that was a wise move. He's bred to control and guard and protect. He watched out for the puppy. Was very and he obvious. was very watchful of everything. Yes. You could tell that he was really well, fake assessing goodness, He's trained as good as he is because that's the saving grace. Some of it didn't make sense to him, but he held it together because you've done such a good job training. Yeah. And so even if he hasn't been in these kind of situations all that much, the fact that you've got that kind of control on him, you can take him anywhere. Right. And even if he'd had a bad experience, you could have called him off. Yeah. Now, he was hesitant to come off the Great Dane because he was afraid that puppy was going to get hurt. Yeah. I mean, that's just, that was amazing to me. He was willing to step in there and yeah, he say, was. He and but protected that puppy. He would have. And uh, doesn't that say a lot so much for that dog? It does, it does. One thing that was interesting, I don't know if you were watching her, but she walked over to him, walked under the chair, said, no, I don't think so, I'm going to go this way. Yep. So she did catch that yep. hip check that he did, yep. that maybe that's a good spot. That's to the like importance that. of doing these kinds of things. Not just play, this is really learning. So what did you think of Noah? He did, I think he did great. Oh, I, I was so proud great. of that dog. He doesn't want to take over. He knows right. what's right and wrong. Right. Kept his head the whole yes. time. Yes. No yeah. jumping, no craziness. And no. that says what kind of a personality. Jaeger right. showed us what kind of personality he right. has. He definitely is this courageous guy who would do what's right. Right. Noah did the same thing. It was interesting because he kept coming back to me. Yeah. Now, I've only yeah. worked him one time well, before, but I'm his security yeah. today, and I yeah. thought that was interesting. Yeah. Um, but that's a service dog. That is a service dog mentality. He actually laid down yeah. when it, yeah. after everybody kind of had established where they were at. He actually laid down and was like, okay, I've had enough of this. It's all assessed. I you can be play. calm during this whole What's chaotic that? thing. It was amazing. Right. Yeah. Laid they down. don't want to play. They want to establish order, and then they want to move it and do something with it. Okay, what about Cooper? Cooper is very calm. <laughs> he sticks by me. Cooper could not have been any better. Cooper and Noah talk about service dog mentality. Oh, my gosh. That loyal dog would lay down his life for you in a second. He wouldn't even bat an eye. That dog would die for you. I mean, that is so beautiful. Remember when you were talking bad about him when he was a puppy? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's the perfect relationship with that dog. That is so beautiful. I was so proud of him. He doesn't want to go out there and do big things. He wants to do his job, and he wants his mom to be safe, and he wants her to have a good time. He, it is the most beautiful thing in the world. Okay, what about Benny? He did. Um, he knows what to do. He just needs more of it. Now, you missed a week, and I think every time he misses, I think it really throws him. Um, even, I think, and I know life's goofy, it's everywhere, but even if you brought him up here and pulled that gadget out of the kennel, I think uh, once a week... I was sick all week. Oh, were you? Well, then we didn't want yeah. you here anyway. <laughs> <laughs> and, I was bad sick. But he never goes back to where he used to be. No, no. He, started, he tries to. Yeah, he tries. But you take him out there, he actually did very well. Well, in the middle of where I took him out in the middle and told him to easy out in the middle and stepped on the lead. Yeah. That seemed like it's selling yeah. him down. Yeah. That just like yeah. turns it off switch. Now what would happen if you started to baby him and make him try to feel better? He would revert right yeah. back to that baby yeah. nonsense yeah. as quick as you could be. You can't baby that dog. His aggression is you can't make me. He's got it in him. He knows what to do. He just chooses Yeah, well he, he showed one seconds where he was yeah. going out, especially yeah. when he's working yeah. with Diva. He needs another dog to help yeah. him. Diva, right? I mean, he's not quite there yet, but he's he's doing good. All right, what about Haiti? Oh, I am so proud of that dog. 
she's pain in the neck. You know she's got weight around her neck, and that's just to tone her down a little bit. Boy, that dog is so intense. She she just wants to work. And the fact that that dog will lay over there tied, it's, we've been working on that. Um, she wants to be involved in everything. I'm so proud of her um, because she definitely wants to protect me. She wants to keep everybody in order, but she's becoming much more patient, and it's, it's a beautiful thing. She's a good girl. Okay, what about that thing? I'm pretty pleased. You should be. She was very appropriate. You know, it's, she was, I was kind of curious because she really has been raised by Lakelands. But on the other hand, she's also been around those little toy dogs. Well, the toy dogs have no leadership abilities to speak of. They're mouthy and they think they're cute. That's about it. And so she spent a lot of time with them. Gadget was too tough on her. So it was kind of like when she got to be a young adult, it got to be a little difficult because I, she was losing her identity. And so I'd give it, let her play with Wanda than that. But I was very proud of her today. She, she really tried to step up. She tried to correct the puppy. I mean, she tried to do what she was, knew she was to do. Very pretty. And she just goes around here just happy and content and confident. She's so confident. She is. She's just a sweetie. Okay, what about the awful dog? <laughs> I thought she was awesome. She was awesome. Yeah. She learned so much today um, that you can't shortcut that education. This dog has been around dogs of, we don't have a hound in here, we don't really have a non-sporting dog, but we got everybody else at the lead. Wonderful. Oh, we don't have any toy in here, but she's been. She's seen all of them. And she really is such a smart little thing. But it's not the silly crazy. It's active, it's confident, she struts around. It's really pretty. She's a nice one. I think she's pretty cool. So I, I wish you'd say a little bit more about her interaction with the, um, the Australian Shepherd Kate. Yeah. Um, you said they're next to each other in the kennel. Um, but so then you didn't want them to start. No. Say no. more about that. Now, they play independently. Now, how would that Australian Shepherd oh, really? play? How would the Australian Shepherd play with this Airedale puppy? She heard. She heard. She heard. And she would hurt because she's bigger. She would slam. How does a her Australian Shepherd herd? They nip. They bite. They roll them. They bump them. They control where they're going. What would that do to a little terrier? Make them irritated. Plus, we don't want to teach her those no. techniques. So they have interacted on a very appropriate level. Now there was no fence, no kennel between them. So now she's just testing. And Kate's an Australian Shepherd. She has no problem. She plays with Fargo and, and Mary the Pitbull and um, music. I mean, she's been out with Noah and, and Marley and all them. So the Australian Shepherd has been controlled by the other dogs. Or she's herded them a little bit. This one is just learning. So the last thing we want her to do is be controlled or herded or bumped or hip. <laughs> Willie, yeah. knock it off. So she has to learn. Now, the rest of them have all done some of this before. They've lived part of life. This puppy, this is imprinting. This is her first introduction to peekaboo. First introduction to Great Dane. First introduction to, well, she's seen late ones before, but every one of them is different. First introduction to a golden with a bone. First, well, not first introduction to an air of course. First introduction to um, a German Shepherd. I mean, she's met Haiti before. Um, she knows Noah. Jaeger. I don't know if she's ever met Jaeger before. I don't. Maybe she's never met a Portuguese water dog before. She's never met a Schnauzer before. She's seen them. Okay, so this was her first day in a new school. What is she thinking? Are these kids nice kids? Is she safe? Is it fun? Yeah. 
I want to come back to this school. I wasn't bullied. I wasn't picked on. I wasn't, you know, left out. I wasn't isolated. I didn't have to be afraid. Eh, I got in a little trouble, but I was okay. The other kids are looking out for me. I could trust that big funny looking guy with a with a goofy pushed in face to protect me from that big kid. I didn't but, have to be afraid. Did we need to be protected from the big kid just because he's big or was there something else? Well, we have to use our brain because otherwise if we go run into the big kid's locker room, what's going to happen to our little selves? We are going to get pounded big time. So we have to teach her to be smart enough not to be a victim. Now, if Otis wasn't the nice guy he is, he could hurt her. He could kill her. Well, I was kind of surprised that she's more than happy to wedge herself between the wall and him. She has no, no fear. I wouldn't have gone there so myself. Isn't, but isn't this like a little child that you raise to trust people and love other kids and all that, and then they go to the school, and the big, you know, they go up to the big kid to be nice to him, and they takes his lunch money? Oh, this would take his lunch money. <laughs> so we need to teach these dogs that there are dogs that don't necessarily like you. Not expect everybody to love you because we make them victims that way. We have to teach them to avoid stupid situations. The fact that not only us, not only we were telling her to stay away, but Otis was telling her, Get out of here, you dummy. Very politely, though. Very politely. And Otis was polite. Yeah, so we don't want her afraid, but in we want her to be respectful of that big dog, right? But in that respect, there is an element of fear. About that much. What's the difference between fear and respect? One word. I was just saying there's a little confidence, but predictability. If she can go over there and she can predict that if Otis is laying there feeling in a good mood, I can come over and talk to you. Okay, fine. But she can also predict that you need to be a little bit respectful and wary or you get yourself hurt. You're fine. So if you can predict that somebody's got that potential, then you don't have to be afraid. What do you think? I think he did real well. I think he did really well, too. Um, one of the biggest problems is you like to watch. Both of you like to watch. The hard thing about that is this dog needs you to tell him when he's doing good or when he's not. You kind of leave him out there to hang and let him figure it out, and then he takes you by surprise. With that weight on, that, that heavy lead on him, and that is heavy. It helped him tone it down and make a better decision. See there, stupid? You see, you see the thing is, um, it seems like Willie's defending his territory. He's, he's more aggressive now than he was out there. He's fine. He's not inappropriate for telling her to stay away from his, his area. He's wrong, however, when people are coming through the door. Yeah. And he says you can't come in the room. Yeah, because it's not his room. <laughs> so, you know, if you were sitting at a desk, you have the right to tell somebody don't mess with your desk. Yeah. But don't come in the room is a whole other ballgame. Yeah. So it's up to you to tweak his behavior. Yeah. Yeah. But he did well. Yeah, I think so. All right. Poor Julie. Poor Willie. Well, it was very good for him to just watch. He did excellent. That dog just put up with all this nonsense. He and Gabby both. I mean, that dog saw no sense that they were coming over here seeing him. It's like, jeepers, you guys, leave me alone. Trying to get stuff done. They won't, you know. But he is like a police officer or a serviceman where sometimes you just put up with stuff even if it's not fair. And that's exactly what he does. He is. That's exactly. 
A Great Dane was exactly what I drew. <laughs> Good boy. Because they should be very tolerant. Anything that powerful had better be taught to think twice before he reacts. Because he could hurt somebody yeah. bad. Okay, how about Maggie? I was surprised that Maggie did want to go and greet more of the dogs. It took her a while. Um, when she went over by Haiti, I felt like that was more curiosity. Like, should I meet you or not? I don't know for sure. Okay. When there's a party, I will bet that you do go up and greet everybody. Yeah. Okay. When there's a party, I walk in and I kind of stand by myself and I observe the room and I decide who I want to go talk to. There may be people in that party I never even talked to. Okay. That's the difference. You have more of that sporting dog attitude where you go around and visit with everybody. You think everybody's fine. For that reason, you sometimes miss a lot of things that this dog is actually doing because you're busy talking. The leader of the bunch can't afford to get distracted from security, from safety, from all those other things. Okay. She is a leader. You're the greeter. All right. Now, you being in charge, you being the greeter, which is part toy and probably part sporting. Okay. Nothing wrong. I mean, that's just how it is. This is the ultimate leader. You need to pay more attention because you are president of this company. And your, your employee below you has capabilities to take over. That's where you've always gotten in trouble with it. Is you want her to be more like you. She wants you to be more like her. Now, chances are you're not going to turn her into a poodle. No. So, therefore, you need to pretend to be a Lakeland. Does that make sense? Oh, yeah. I mean, it's kind of hard to hear because it's different from the way you normally live. Right. You're very social. You, you include people. You, you're very pleasant. You, you greet people. And, and that's, that's an art. I, I feel really proud of her because she has almost completely stopped aggression toward yeah. other animals. But that's because, first of all, we dealt with it. Second of all, we're giving her these experiences, and they're all pleasant. The little girl next door came over to return a dish, and Maggie was so appropriate and friendly, and she let Jersey pet her, and then she hopped up But still, a bit, you but can't Mary, totally let down your guard. Right. Because she promises to be good does not mean she's going to be. I'm just saying this, this yes. interaction was yes. very positive. Yeah. Yeah. And she went... We well, went she has to, the potential, absolutely. We went to the vet this week. And Maggie had A-plus behavior. She was so good. And then some idiot with a pit bull, completely out of control, thrashing. This, this pit bull was terrible. Mm -hmm. And I... I just gave her your card. <laughs> and I said, this is the trainer I use, and she's very, very good, and she's in self boy I didn't know. This dog was just a mess. Thrash against the door. But unless somebody car. knows what to do, they don't do it. No. She but you said, are kind of in wanna, that boat. I don't want to bring my dog in until you take Maggie and there be your dog, because she doesn't get along with other dogs, and I never let her around other animals. And I was like, oh. Well, that dog could kill another animal. Yes. So I just gave yep. you your card. Cool. <laughs> well, we'll see what you do. I don't know. Okay, Kathy, what'd you think of your dog? Uh, I thought she did okay. She did? She uh, walked around a little bit, and then she came over and laid down and chewed on her bone and kind of ignored everything going on until Diva, no, 
who was it came over and tried to get the bone when she was chewing on it, and she kind of Didi. I know who was it? Yeah, you know that that was probably the most important contribution she did for the whole day. She actually stood up on her two, on her four feet, and told somebody to back off, and she did it in a way that she really sounded scary. That up until then they had been over picking on her. Yeah, they all of a sudden she finally got a backbone and stood up and told them to back off. Yeah. And then uh, Diva came over and was eating on the bone, and Brandy just... Well, Diva made a statement. Yeah, I could yeah, take it if I wanted. Yeah, I could take it. If I wanted. And then she chewed on about one minute, it and left. then left it. Yeah, she didn't it. want it. No, and then Brandy went back to she it. She made and a statement. It. Yeah. So. But that was perfect, because Brandy inserted herself above the puppy, yeah. but below Diva. Yeah. So she... That was quite, quite nice. Yeah. How about Carly, Ruby? Carly did pretty much exactly as I expected. Carly, she's Carly. so steady and good with other dogs, but she's had the advantage of growing up here, and she had two wonderful imprinting parents. She did. Yep. She's a pretty darn good dog. Well, the hard thing about Carly is she has she spent all of her time with other mostly with other Airedales, not with anything lesser. So if we would let the puppy be raised by Carly, um, yeah, she'd be an appropriate Airedale, but she'd be tough for anything less. Much tougher. Yeah. The puppies at home, yeah. you can see they Carly run didn't around care. and they jump on her, and when she yeah. finally gets tired, she, all she does is she turns around and says, Arr! and they leave yeah. her alone. But the puppy never hit a level. This one never even jumped. Never got, her. never came close. Carly said, "You're doing just fine. Take over she all you She would kind of follow her progress around the room, and yeah. she'd kind of yep. stroll in that yep. area, but yep. she didn't interact. She just let her be. Because yep. Carly would be the kind of mother that would take her kid in and smile when that kid got the better of all the kids. <laughs> yes. mm -hmm. Not a problem. <laughs> Even if there had to be a little bit of confrontation because of it. No. Carly got no problem with that. She's very confident and very good with every dog. She can get along with every dog in here. So lots of freedom and fun within clearly defined limits. That would be the perfect situation. I think she was one of the first.